All right, so as we should all know by now, Twitter is absolutely the best place to find some very weird people. Over the last few days, I've found some people who full-heartedly believe that their, their, their job of being an OnlyFans girl is harder than being a doctor. That's right. Apparently, Twitter has reached this dark void point in its history where apparently people wholeheartedly believe that being an OnlyFans model, which by the way, takes literally no effort, all you're doing is taking pictures of yourself and selling it to weird people on the internet, is apparently harder than being a doctor. Now, before we start this, I just want to let you guys all know that I have a second channel called Glider Guy 2. If I hit 20k subs on that channel before April, then I'll literally drink water. I'm not even kidding. So if you like seeing videos on this channel, which obviously if you're subscribed, then you do, then you might as well subscribe to my second channel because I'm going to be posting a lot of content on there. So it's just free videos for you guys and, and also I'll drink water. So if you want to subscribe to Glider Guy 2, it'll be toppling in the description. Anyway, back onto the topic of today's video. Now, like I was saying before, I really don't get the argument that people throw up that OnlyFans somehow takes more practice time and talent than being a doctor when you're literally just selling pictures of your body to random people. But anyway, today we're going to be reading a thread from someone who, who does OnlyFans, I guess you could say. I, I'm not going to show their name because I don't want to get them any pub publicity. Because opinions like this just really make me wonder how, how on earth humanity has reached this point where people genuinely believe this sort of stuff. But anyway, we're going to read this thread today. That work is easily harder than being a doctor or lawyer. If you say if you say otherwise, then you are biased and lying because of your personal morals a thread. Okay, right off the bat, I don't, I don't understand why she's already pulling the biased card. I don't think you really have to be that biased to understand that, that doing that sort of work that she's talking about is a lot is a lot easier than being a doctor, which you have to study many years at university for and go to college for and all that sort of stuff. Being a doctor is one of the highest paying jobs for a good reason. It's because you have to do a whole bunch of medical school, you have to go to uni, all that sort of stuff, like college or whatever. Like, it's not easy becoming a doctor. And on top of that, there's so much pressure every time you walk into work. Like, if you mess up something, you can mess up someone's health, like, abs like completely. Whereas OnlyFans, if you take one bad picture, who cares? You're an OnlyFans, girl. You're making 10 times more money than doctors do anyway. I don't understand what, what, where this person's coming from. To be a doctor, all you have to do is go to college. Okay, okay. What do you mean that all you have to do is go to college? But going to college is hard. Especially if you're studying to become a doctor. There's got, there's got to be so much homework and just, just so many expectations. What do you mean all you have to do is college? All you have to do is sit, is sit in your bathroom and take pictures. Like, what? How can you even compare going to college and studying to become a doctor to being an OnlyFans person? There is no correlation. To have an OnlyFans, you have to have an impenetrable uh, mental and keep your body uh, indefinitely, which is ex exponentially harder. Harder than prescribing antibiotics uh, all day. You also have to be a natural born talent. Okay, first of all, if you're a natural born talent, I don't understand why you're complaining about it because it was naturally given to you. I don't understand how it makes it harder because, you know, you didn't have to work to, to get your good looks, I guess you could say. So that genuinely makes no sense to me. And what do you mean all you have to do is prescribe antibiotics all day? You're like, do you know what happens if you mess up prescribing them? There is a lot of weight under your, on, on your shoulders if you're a doctor to, to get your job right. If you don't get it right like once, you are, you are literally expected to get it right. And if you don't, then, then you could possibly get fired. You could get someone extremely hurt or, or even worse. Like there is a lot of pressure on you if you're a doctor and you're just out here saying, oh yeah, you, you have to be perfect to be an OnlyFans girl. No, you don't. You probably make millions of dollars a month. I don't understand what, what, what your problem is. You cannot be taught how to be good at OnlyFans. It's literally a skill I was born with. You either have it or you don't. Anyone can go to school and learn other trades. Okay, first of all, what, what sort of skill is, is being an OnlyFans girl? What talent do you have or what, what, what skill do you have? And you're saying that you can't be taught to be good at OnlyFans? Well, uh, good. Do you know how good it would be to just naturally be born with something that literally makes me $10 million a year? That would literally be the dream. Like, I, I, I know I know that OnlyFans girls are like, you know, that they're sort of selling themselves online. If I could make $10 million a year doing that sort of stuff, damn, like, why would you be complaining about that? I would not be complaining. That is probably the most easy, like, the most recruit difficulty lifestyle I've ever seen. This person is literally living on recruit difficulty while simultaneously com complaining that, that doctors have an easier job than they do. I'd like to see you be a doctor for a week and, and, th and then you can start talking. Some doctors will work harder because they save lives. I save lives. W what? OnlyFans person saving lives. Okay, then. The content I produce will exist forever and continues to save lives and brighten people's days even after I'm dead. Th that is true expertise. Just stop talking. How on earth does your content, like, brighten people's days and, you know, like, do all that sort of stuff? The only people who subscribe to your OnlyFans are weird people who are probably 20 years old and still going through puberty and just throwing away basically that their last pennies just because they have literally nothing else going on in their life. I don't understand how you're brightening up people's days, but, but okay, then. These workers have to constantly deal with slander and degradation. Uh, I think I say 
they say it. Whereas a doctor is praised for sacrificing their lives to medicine, which anyone can do. Not everyone can do do the work. Yeah, you're right. No, not everyone can do the work, you know, because some people might, might, might just not be born with good genetics or whatever. But you're not working to get those genetics, are you? You were just lucky to be born with them. You're in a very lucky situation right now where you can literally stay at home, right? It, it, like, no pandemic is going to stop you from getting your money. You can constantly be making $10 million consistently until the rest of your life. You could literally be a billionaire by 60 years old if you just keep doing this. You're in such a lucky position and I really don't understand what, why on earth you're out here complaining about doctors. And what do you mean anyone can sacrifice their lives to medicine or whatever? Like, no, they can't. Do you know how much commitment and dedication it takes to become a doctor? Like, I really think you're underestimating how, how important these sort of jobs are. And you're talking about how OnlyFans models, you know, they, they, they have to deal with slander all the time. Do you not think that doctors have to deal with the same thing? Like, imagine the amount of pressure that a doctor has to that, that a doctor has to go through, right? And then if they mess up one little thing, you've got people screaming at them. Like, like anything that happens to the patient, the doctor is basically blamed for it. And sometimes it can even go as far as slander. So don't even compare yourself to a doctor who spent who probably spends like a decade in school trying to learn about medicine and stuff. Don't even talk about that. I'm not going to praise someone for making a bad life choice. You should be bowing down to those of us who, with OnlyFans for relieving all men across the world of stress and worries and making them less aggressive and more, more or less likely to cheat. I'm sorry, wh what? You're an OnlyFans person. You're not a therapist. You don't help anyone. All you do is put pictures online and get money from it. You literally do nothing else apart from that. And you just make absolute bank off it, which again, I'm not dissing that. Like if you go on and do that, you know, fair enough. Like if you're chasing the bag and you're catching the bag, then then GG, I, I can't complain. Like you, you are literally, you are literally running on recruit difficulty though. But don't go out here talking about doctors who apparently have it easier than OnlyFans models. Just get that, just get that out of here. I, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna treat to that. I also make more money than my doctor. So if they won't listen to the facts, that should say something. They, if they work harder, why do I make more? What? Oh my God. To, to be honest, I don't know why you make more. Actually, no, I do. It's because people are absolute simps in 2021. We have some absolutely down bad people out there. And because the internet is so accessibly wide uh, at this point, like so many people are using it, it's so easy to find this sort of stuff and just enter your credit card information into some sketchy website that's, that's going to give you OnlyFans pictures. Like, do you know how much more accessible it is to, to pay someone to pay someone on OnlyFans than it is to pay someone as a doctor? Like, hospital fees are expensive if, if, you, didn't, if you didn't already know. Like, some people just don't go to the hospital because of how expensive the things are, meaning that the doctors get less money. And to be honest, I do think that it is kind of messed up that the OnlyFans people get paid way more than doctors. Like, the, the, the fact that that's happening is a bit ridiculous. But at the end of the day, I mean, the, 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 that's not up to me. That's just up to the world's population. And if, if people are paying for your OnlyFans, go on then. If you think this sort of is a joke, you are wrong. Only because uh, only because that you don't take that work seriously or care about educating yourself. Grow up. Who are you telling to grow up? You're literally talking about how your job is apparently harder than being a doctor. In what planet is that the case? Do you, do you know what you're doing? You're literally running life on recruit difficulty out here complaining that a doctor has, a, has an easier job than you. Why would you even be complaining in the first place if you're making more money than them? Like, do, do, why do you care? Someone brought up a good point. Commitment. That work is probably the biggest lifetime commitment it, it, that you can make in your career. You can never come back from that work. Once you start, your reputation is forever tarnished. This is true dedication. I mean, like you literally said, like a, a, f a few replies ago, you literally said that it's your choice to become a doctor. So if you become a doctor, then that's your choice. So if we apply that same logic to this tweet, you are literally choosing to become an OnlyFans girl. So why are you complaining about your reputation when you literally have already stated that, that if you do something and it's your choice, then don't complain about it. And by the way, how are you going to talk about commitment? Like literally, like I just said before, you have to go to college for a good 10 years at least if you want to get a high rank in becoming a doctor and earn a lot of money. Becoming a doctor takes way more commitment than being an OnlyFans girl. Like what? Also, humans are by nature social creatures. And when you go deep into the path of becoming a doctor, well, liked and respected, whereas the OnlyFans is the opposite. Therefore, you are more likely to become depressed than when you're when you're doing OnlyFans and flourish easily when becoming a doctor. Just, just stop. Do you know how much stress doctors are put under? Like, do you understand the amount of work that they do day in and day out? Like, some people have literally quit becoming a doctor because the because of the amount of stress that it involves. If you mess up one tiny thing, it can have a detrimental effect onto some people. You have to be on your game every time you walk into work, every single time. And if you're not, then you might as well just leave. Becoming a doctor pays a lot of money for a reason, right? Like you just can't you can't rock up one day and just 
just just be like, oh, tired. Oh, I can't be bothered doing the work. Like if you're if you're not up to it, then then just leave. Becoming a doctor is probably one of the most like like prestigious things you can do in this planet. It's one of the most well respected jobs, and for very good reason. I could also easily become a doctor. Okay, n no, you couldn't. D don't even start. I graduated at the top of my class, but I'm more of a I'm more of a high risk, high reward person. Again, like you said before on the other uh, like you said before on the other tweet. If you take a risk and, and you choose to do something, then that's on you. Like to be honest, if you're gonna become an OnlyFans model, don't come crying to me when your repu when your reputation is tarnished. Anyway, I think I've had enough of this OnlyFans girl. To be honest, I don't really know what this was. It really just baffles me how people st how people like genuinely go onto Twitter and believe this sort of stuff. It makes no sense to me. Anyway, with that being said, thank you all for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed. Again, make sure you subscribe to Glider Guy 2 with the link in the description. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.